In this unit, I'll walk you through the Tableau desktop tool. The screen we're seeing now is the screen that you'll be seeing if you open up the Tableau application. On the left hand pane, we have the option to connect to different data sets, whether they be file based or database server based. In the central area of the screen, we'll see different squares, which represent the workbooks that we've recently opened. Obviously, the more workbooks that you've used, the more little boxes you'll see here across the screen. Towards the bottom, Tableau has also provided some sample workbooks to provide some inspiration for your data analysis. And on the far right hand pane is the Tableau Discover section. It's full of additional resources. Now I'll come down to the sample workbooks and open up the Superstore workbook. Immediately we're launched to this dashboard view, which is showing a collection of various worksheets on a singular dashboard view. We know we're looking at a dashboard because we have this little icon down here with the four squares. Let's now click on a new worksheet. The worksheet icon is right next to the dashboard icon. This is a Tableau worksheet, and this is where we'll be creating all of our data visualization. The left hand pane here is where we'll pull in our dimensions and measures that we want to use to create our data visualization. Dimensions are objects we're looking to measure. For example, we'll add region and we'll measure that by sales. Dimensions and measures. And then we have parameters here at the bottom, which provide additional flexibility during your data analysis. We'll go into more detail on parameters a little later in this training. These top two shelves, columns, and rows allow you to change the way your data is being analyzed. These blue and green objects are referred to as pills in Tableau, given their pill shapes. You can easily remove an object by clicking and dragging it off of the canvas or by right clicking, remove. The next area to pay attention to is right here in the middle with these three separate cards, pages, filters, and marks. The marks card allows you to change the way your visualization is being displayed. A mark is basically making a mark on this canvas to represent your object a different way. For example, let's add in salesperson by double clicking. Let's now add sales to show how well each salesperson has performed. Currently, the mark is set to just display text. If we click this drop down, we could change the way Tableau is visualizing this data. For example, bar. We aren't yet seeing the bar because we're still set on text. If we click this little T, we could change this to show up as a size mark, which will then show us sales based on the size of the bar. We can add in objects to our filter, for example, region, and filter out a certain region, for example, west. And lastly, we have our pages card. We'll go into more detail on that a little later in this course.
Now let's take our attention up to this top bar, which is similar to many tools. We have the option to go backwards and forwards. And there really is no limit as far back as you like to go. You can go, as you can see. We can save our workbook, add an additional data source to our data source pane up here, and watch how quick it is to change data sources in Tableau. You just simply click on them, and then you have the option to pull those objects from that particular source onto your sheet. You can pause auto updates from your source, which essentially freezes the current state of data that you're using. We have the option to create a new worksheet, which is the same as going down here and clicking on new worksheet. We can duplicate our sheet, which can also be done by coming down to our sheet, right clicking and duplicate. And we can also clear our sheet which starts this sheet brand new again. I'll undo that. We have the ability to swap our axes. For example, if I add an order date to columns and then swap the axes, we see how Tableau automatically takes what was in the bottom rows and throws it up in top in the columns. We have the ability to sort ascending or descending. And we can even highlight our data. This little T surrounded by a dotted box is the same thing as coming down to our label and showing our mark labels. Next, we have the fix axes button. We have various fit types that we can choose from. And we'll go into more detail on these fit types later on when we start using our dashboards. We have the ability to show or hide certain cards. And finally, presentation mode which blocks out all the noise and just shows your visualization. And obviously this works a lot better with dashboards. This concludes our Tableau desktop tour.